Sugar Muggas, welcome back to the channel for nine top mods to enhance your family style gameplay. Just a quick heads up before we dive into the mods, I am going to be going over each mod individually fairly quickly. These aren't going to be super in-depth reviews, and if you guys are interested in a little more information on each mod, you can go ahead and check them out for yourselves. Every single mod that I mention, holy nalgas, will be on my website at xurbansimsx.com. So you guys, for the very first mod that I have to share with you, it is the Explorer mod by Miss Kawaii Stacy. I'm sure that you were no stranger to this mod mod but the reason why I like it and find it essential is because you can do so many things with your family and even by yourself granted yes a lot of this is rabbit holes and things of that sort it's very realistic so you have like places to shop you've got events that you can attend like church or fashion show and you guys they change depending on what time of the day it is I'm not sure if they they change depending on what day of the week it is but it is possible you can even go um to like the gym or go hiking uh, through the grotto there's and, and you get skills too which is really cool and so maybe you wanted to go on a little vacation with your family or your sweetie take the kids to Jurassic Plumba Park for $175 you could do that too or maybe you're just you know a hinge bit tight on a coin um, you could go and do a little babysitting gig or go mow Nancy's lawn um, yeah there's a lot of things that you can do but first you have to actually get a driver's license to do it I think every Everybody could actually use this. So, for instance, say I wanted, um, I wanted to maybe go with my wife to, I don't know, um, the uh, the lake for a little bit, right? So all I need to do is just select um, Kieran, and they will go on a little midday, I guess fishing trip sort of a thing with that Julian has acquired the fishing skills so again even though these are rabbit holes it does give you the genuine feeling um, that you're actually experiencing these things with your sim so I find this mod super duper essential again there are so many things that you can do my favorite thing personally um, is actually going and getting little part-time jobs just to kind of make ends meet even though mod number two is very similar to the first mod trust me they are completely different the social activities mod by Little Miss Sam is one of the very first activity rabbit hole mods that was introduced to The Sims 4 and let me tell you it is absolute freaking perfection even though I have the explore mod in I love to use these two in Tatum because they both give me different things that I need so in order to access this mod all you need to do is just go ahead and access your phone there you will find the social activities pie menu and you will be able to partake in other activities social activities and vacation so if I wanted Adrian to go and partake partake at other activities he would be able to go to the art exhibition and go to a circus cooking competition read and meet book group which is kind of fun um, and then the other options that I have are social activities right so if I wanted him to go and visit some friends but I didn't necessarily want to like go there or take time out of my day to bring him um, you could do it that way too also there is the option to visit family members which is so key and important uh, there's also the option to visit acquaintances so let's have Adrian go and visit his grandfather for a little bit Bowen um, so once I do that he should head on his own I love the little um, icon right here it's like a big old heart and it says is visiting family members so the cool thing about this too you guys is that while they're off socializing it's not like they're just poof gone and like nothing happens they will actually build a relationship with the person that they are visiting so I'm gonna let Adrian go ahead and do his thing and then <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm also gonna go ahead and lead you into the next mod Mod number three, can I come over by Little Miss Sam? I love this one. Okay, so do you ever get the option on your phone? I'm sure you do. When someone calls and they're like, hey, do you want to come over? Hey, um, can I come over and visit you? Well, now you can be the one kind of like prompting that action. Not always is this going to work, but we're going to give it a go. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm not sure if this particular person even has a house, but I'm going to actually have her go and leave. So we are going to cheat this because otherwise she's going to be here until freaking doomsday. Um, I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. All right. <laughs> See yourself out, Missy. So once she leaves off the lot, I can actually have Kieran go and ask her, can I come over? Well, unfortunately, the only person I can ask right now, because I think she's still here, is Boed. You know what? Just for the sake of this, you know, list, I guess, we're just going to go with the flow on this one. I'm going to have her go and text her father-in-law and see if he would allow her to come over. 
sure. So even though I asked, um, oh, oh my God. Okay, it says, of course you could come over. Travel to the Nuke Stone. This is also really good, too, by the way, if you're like <laughs> that bitch who's lazy and doesn't want to go and like start playing Where's Waldo because you can't remember where your family lives. I mean, <laughs> wow and you call yourself a relative um this is for you this is for me actually so you know what we're gonna go ahead and invite more sims to go with us so we are going to invite over julian and adrian is supposed to be there so i guess we're gonna go and visit bowen here we are at bowen's humble abode the nuke stone and as you guys can see it's pretty freaking flawless i love this so much and i think this is like essential if you want to visit friends and family and that type of thing i feel like the whole precipice about this mod list is just being social um creating connections and just kind of enjoying each other's company i think that's super duper duper important so another mod that i have actually kind of is based on this except <laughs> it just gives your sims a little bit of free time mod number four is again by little miss sam and this one is called spend the weekend with and even though it sounds pretty self-explanatory let me tell you this mod is extraordinary so basically what it allows you to do is send anybody in your household to go and spend a little bit of time away from the house so this means girl trips you could have maybe your husband go have a little weekend with the guys or if you just really needed some alone time with your honey you could send the kids with the grandparents i mean shoot that's what i do <laughs> and if you wanted to you could even have somebody pet sit your cat or your dog it's truly just it's it's endless there's so many different things that you can do so the biggest suggestion that i have for you guys to like avoid utter freaking chaos Chaos is make sure everybody is on the active a lot then you're gonna go to your phone you're gonna hit the social tab and you're gonna click spend the weekend with so obviously we only know Bowen so let's go and have Adrian spend a little bit of time with grandpa because these two are getting way too freaking hot and heavy so we're gonna do that and then once she goes and gives him a call there should be a little menu that pops up or when he comes it'll say this I'm here to pick up so-and-so and again if I wanted to maybe have Julian go and spend some time with his dad that's an option but unfortunately Adrian <laughs> he's getting the boot so we're gonna go and click Adrian and once that is done as you guys can see Adrian has left the building he is now with his grandfather and it says I will be gone now call me when you want me to come home this is gonna happen I don't know why but it like gives me the option twice don't worry it's okay You'll get your kid back. I mean, if you're if that's what you want naturally, or you could just have them stay there indefinitely. I'm so serious. And the cool thing is, is like, all right, you're like, OK, cool, whatever. Like they're they're gone. They're doing their thing. What now? Well, they're off doing their thing. They're building relationships. They're building skills. They're working on their homework like they're actually living their lives. It's not just like you remove them from the household and put them on pause. Like there's things happening behind the scene. And so say maybe you're starting to miss your little crowd goblins and uh, the, the fields are starting to get a little too heavy and you want to you want to call little Adrian home all you need to do is just go back to your phone and hit call household member home and select the person that you want to come home I think you might even be able to have like multiple people I'm not sure I haven't tried it this way um, but once you select whoever it is that you want to bring back they should immediately pop back up on the home line. and whoa it says looks like Adrian has acquired the mental skill and a little notification popped up that reads here's Johnny just kidding it's me and I am back home one of the things that I wish was added with seasons was like summer breaks winter breaks maybe even like little holiday Thanksgiving breaks those types of things so this particular bot is again by little miss Sam I don't know how many times I can say it and it's called school holiday basically what it is is it's a tradition that you can actually add to your calendar that blocks out holidays so for instance say I wanted to create a little summer break moment all I need to do is just go and add holiday and then I could go and name it hey summer break I like did this off camera but <laughs> Apparently I didn't save it and then you pick an appropriate icon. I personally like to use the little sad one This one's super cute and cartoony um, I do uncheck this so that obviously the parents still go to work because it wouldn't be a true summer break if you had Parentals around and then there will be this little tradition that says school holiday and it just says no school today Have fun and the cool thing about this bad boy is that um, you can do this for as many days as you like so for the squares family I did um, Holidays on a two-week block or not holidays 
days, but seasons for a two week block. And then a part of it, I would create like a little, a little summer, I guess a little summer break. And then I would create a holiday kind of towards like fall, maybe like a day or two before fall that was like back to school. And it just kind of created this illusion that I was actually having um, th this experience where my sim was having a seasonal school year, I guess. So even though it's a super small little addition, I definitely think you guys should give it a go and try it out. I personally have a lot of fun with it. Um, I do know that there's even a no work option. So maybe you wanted to have your Sims have a little vacation or whatever the situation is. There are definitely a lot of options out there. Now, it wouldn't be a family gameplay mod list if we didn't include something about divorce. So, Zero just came out with a mod today, you guys, that basically creates a more realistic divorce experience because right now, if you want to get a divorce, it's literally cut and dry. It's like, hey, I know I just spent like 28 sim days with you, but like, <laughs> bye. Um, and also, side note, <laughs> Zero creates amazing, realistic, dynamic relationship mods. Oh, my freaking God. I've actually reviewed quite a few on my channel. Channel, and they just they never cease to amaze me like literally and this one is no exception so you may think okay cool Jen um, all you need to do is just go and hit the mean uh, the mean pie menu and ask for a divorce and that is it no 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 so instead of it just saying divorce yes it does say ask for divorce but what happens next is literally so freaking amazing all right so Kieran is over it she's done she thinks that Julian is a salon Okay, like literally the freaking fuzz between her toes and with that you'll see that Kieran is asking for divorce to Julian She should send a request for the paper So basically she needs to like have him served um, And then if you guys could uh, take a little look over here to the moodlet section You'll see that she's angry and she says that she is soon to be single getting divorced is never a funny business And then um, this marriage is not working. I can't stand to have this sim in my life anymore it kind of breaks my heart a little bit broken heart this relationship may have ended but the memories will still remain getting bored I'm getting bored of this relationship now I know like these two are definitely from uh, this mod these may be possibly from an existing one from zero I'm not sure I've got a lot in here um, but I think it's really cool so if you go over to your mailbox, um, obviously, I think at this point they'd be they'd be separated, right? Safe to say that um, you'll go and send the divorce papers for 300 simoleons. And then um, I can't remember if the sim that you're sending them to will actually get the divorce papers or you'll get the divorce papers. Uh, but it says Kieran's papers for divorce are on its way. Kieran may also check the status of the procedure at any time on the computer. Oh, my God. It's so official. I've never been so excited to get a divorce, but I want to tell you guys what else happens obviously I don't have a day or two to wait for these papers to come back I just want to show you right now Okay, so here we are on the mods homepage. You will need XML injector to be able to run this mod. It installs just like any other mod. Pop it into your mods folder. Make sure you have this because if you don't, you're going to be like me with a chicken with his head cut off. You're going to be looking for it. You can't find it. It's going to be freaking frustrating. And <laughs> it also takes the um, the option to get a divorce period away. So don't do that. And then um, you'll go through the motions of the ocean. Pretty much we got about, I don't know, somewhere around here where you will have to wait a day or two for the procedure to be worked on. Then you'll get the papers in the mail so it'll end up in your inventory where it says divorce papers and it seems like Bella is pretty destroyed by her marriage but I think Don also got a divorce and he seems to be really happy I don't know if that is because he's kind of like a non-committal type of sim like he is very just out there and everywhere um kind of like a goldfish so he's excited about it I think that's really cool and then it says the partner will be able to react reading to the papers but only the sim who asked for the divorce will have at this point point the option to actually divorce and it will cost money so if you do decide to proceed with the divorce um you will have to pay five thousand freaking simoleons to make the divorce final so as you guys can see here, even though Kieran asked for a divorce, they're still technically together. So you're going to have to wait for that process to complete to be able to officially call yourself single. Mod number seven, it gives your Sims an option to hire a babysitter of their choosing. It could literally be anybody that you want. And so no more do you have a random nanny just showing up at your door or do you only have to send your kids to daycare? You could actually have somebody you know, maybe a relative or again, poor freaking grandparents, possibly one of them as well. So again, you're going to 
gonna go and you're just gonna hit your phone and somewhere in there should be the option to call a babysitter so the fee is only 15 simoleons and the only person again oh my god I feel so bad for this guy is just you know good old granddad so we're gonna have him go and be the babysitter um, and then you should get a little notification of course I can babysit today I will be there in a few minutes so evidently he should be showing up here in a few minutes so here he comes running down the street I wonder if he's gonna get like his own little his own little babysitting top or something um, I'm really curious to see what this is gonna look like exactly and what he's going to do while he's here uh, I've played with this a couple times but it's been a, it's been a while since I've actually used it oh I love how he comes in and gives his grandson a hug when it just says babysitter it'd be really cool to like be able to have um, like a teen or something come over and watch your kids I feel like that's super duper realistic um, so let me see some of the options that we can do Ooh, we can give him a tip if we wanted to we can interact with him just about the same um, as you could with literally anyone else or anyone else that you've hired to, to watch your kids since we have ourselves a handy dandy babysitter it would only make sense that we would take advantage of this situation so Kawaii Stacy came up with a nice little event bundle for your Sims obviously it just works as any other social event but the cool thing is there are a lot of different things that you can actually do so for instance once your sim uh, gets on their phone starts planning a little social event takes a second I'm so impatient um, you will have the option to invite over which means you can invite over all of your friends probably family too to your home um, you can create a little hangout session you're also able to have your significant other or maybe like a friend um, spend the night this is good for like slumber parties and stuff too and then we have the option to travel so it says this event allows your sims to schedule travels or visit any location even in hidden locations it's perfect for planning a night out vacation or sleepover at a friend's place so I really love that that one's included um, my personal favorite is the date option it is zero cost which is nice um, it is a gold event so it acts like any other date and you can add this to your seasons calendar so that you can actually have scheduled uh, date nights and so with that we're gonna go ahead and test this bad boy out um, I'm gonna have Julian be romantic he's gonna ask his uh, wife on a date why was Lily showing up um, so we have all these different options and I love the fact like generic lots show up but obviously there's a lot of bar options too so as you guys can see just as you would with a regular date that you created in game you have the same similar type of goals so the main goal is obviously to socialize with your date to tell stories to be sweet to bond and all that fun stuff I actually like the um, I like the the objectives here a little bit more I think they seem a little more sweet and personal so I'm gonna go ahead and just knock off a few off my list we're gonna be we're gonna love her we're gonna hug lovingly um, we're also going into maybe just tell a few little stories ask about her income honey and what's mine is yours and what's yours is also mine um, but yeah, that happened really quick. I want to say it's a little bit easier than the, ooh, this is really pretty, than the, uh, oh my god, this dude literally looks like he has seaweed on his head. Um, anyways, like I was saying, getting distracted, it's a little bit easier, in my personal opinion, than the traditional dates that happen in game. Um, but I like that, I really do. Even just the options are pretty cool. So, as quick as it was, I've already reached gold of the date. So I definitely feel like this is super duper duper like necessary for like again having date night or planning slumber parties, that type of a thing. I definitely think you guys should check this out. For the last and final mod on this list, it comes in by LMS yet again, and it is the ability to add chores to the board from parenthood. So all you need to do is obviously have one of these boards. You go and you click add a cleaning a schedule, then a menu will pop up where you can actually designate any sim that you would like um, to a cleaning schedule so say we wanted Adrian to have a little more responsibility help out around the house and say we wanted to do I don't know Sundays at um, let's just do nine o'clock now I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's probably not gonna work just because the house isn't dirty but come nine o'clock if you have things scattered around the house he would be going around picking it up um, organizing taking out trash whatever it is that he needs to do and say you were like okay Adrian that's enough chores uh, and you wanted to take him off the cleaning schedule then you can actually just remove him as well it's super duper 
easy. Again, I've talked about this mod before. I actually use it for university to keep things a little more organized. But um, yeah, you guys, I think that is it for this mod list. If you have any family styled mods that you would like to share with yes. me let me know in the comments down below i'd love to check them out and uh yeah with that said you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do well don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time